This mechanical lion robot was designed to move forward 50 meters, stop, and then roar up like a lion. And then its chest would open and flowers and lilies and doves would fly out. In tribute to the king. Wow, dramatic. One of the Colorado's most fascinating exhibits ever is going to be here in Denver for another weekend. Yeah, Da Vinci and Michelangelo, the Titans experience has been so popular that additional evening and matinee performances have been added to the roster for this weekend at the Glitter Dome Event Center in the Rhino Arts District. Not only can you interact with Da Vinci's machines, there will also be a live theater production as we just showed you comparing the artists' works on stage. Joining us now is your tour guide, Mark, Mark Rogers, Rogers, the mastermind behind. What's again, bonjour. No. I, I didn't know you were such a thespian. You're on stage. You're powerful. It, it is so much fun. You know, and the more you talk about these two guys, the more you want to talk about them. Yeah. And it's just been, we've been here since uh, Thanksgiving. Why did you extend? Oh, well, it's just been, people want to come see it. And we yeah. want to show it to they them. They can't get enough. They can't get enough. So we extended it one more weekend and uh, through this weekend. And it's just been absolutely the most unbelievable. When we had the Da Vinci exhibit out here three years ago, it was just, uh, the response was just unbelievable. Yes. The people have come in. If you go to our Facebook page or whatever, um, the, the reviews have just been wonderful. The, the uh, accolades have just been heartwarming. And it really is a neat thing. It's something that people have never seen. Uh, you walk into this museum type of an experience. Mm -hmm. You interact with the machines while you, while you were there. You interact Paula, you got to, saw, to yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. incredible. I, you know, it's it's really expansive. I can't believe how big this uh, event right. center it's is. A, it's a three-screen immersive production. Wow. And that's the new word out there now. It's called immersive. So we have all these three screens going at the same time, and then we talk about how um, how these two interact and how they played with each other, how they interacted and, and, and how they viewed themselves in life. And it's it's just been a fascinating, wonderful, inspiring exhibit. Yeah, so uh, we're seeing video of the you know event center itself and what people are going to experience there. But you brought some pieces here into the studio. Uh, you know, this one on your right, uh, yeah. if we can come back <laughs> here. <laughs> this is not one of Da Vinci's because, uh, inventions. At first it looks kind of creepy, yes. but then it's not at all when you explain what this is. Please yeah, exactly. explain. Because he was, he was one of the most prolific inventors of, of all time, Leonardo. He had over 44,000 drawings, which only 14,000 survived. And this in particular, you probably, because nobody has seen this one here at the show yet. Uh, this is his underwater breathing apparatus. So scuba gear. Uh, wow. Yeah, scuba gear. Okay. Fact, as much as Da Vinci wanted to fly, because people know he invented the helicopter, he invented the glider, but he also wanted to go under the sea. And he knew, I don't know how he did this, but he knew he had to breathe in fresh air. We had to expel the old air. And also, but in his design, which is so interesting, is it looks sinister and evil, doesn't it? It does. Uh, and, a when I first saw it, I'm like, ew. And he thought it did too. He said, yeah, because this design was sinister and evil. And actually, and he actually, and he actually, can you imagine 550 years ago, he wrote, due to the very evil nature of man, he actually, uh, Da Vinci wrote in his notes, that somebody's going to surely take this design and use it against somebody and cause harm against somebody. <laughs> so you know, unfortunately, what he, you know what he did? He put it aside. He put it aside because he thought somebody would take his own. Because even though he designed war machines, Da Vinci did, he, he was a very peace loving man. Yeah. He, he would buy birds in cages and let them go. Uh, to do that. So, and We're he put learning it so much. And, and what the interesting thing about it was, underneath the diver here, underneath his chin, there's this thing, that this uh, design that suspiciously resembles our regulators on our scuba gear today. Okay. Now, that's a good trivia question. That is. And I remember <laughs> no, no, you were uh, telling me that yeah. this design, this specific one, uh, the first time it was used, it worked. Worked. I'm saying, the British yeah. military, the turn of the 19th century, they used Da Vinci's exact design to, to use it. That's a good. I mean, I want a little trivia question this morning. Uh, who designed our first regulator? You know wow. That? Yeah, and Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. Well, no, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, he had done actually a Jacques Cousteau did. Oh, Jacques Cousteau. I love him. But when, but when he put it aside, <laughs> what was the problem was we had to wait another 500 years for Jacques Cousteau. Mark, record. we have 30 seconds. We can go, go on can, and can, on and on take because he knows so bring, much. It's a lesson. Bring your grandchildren. Okay. Bring your kids. We are going to inspire them. By the end of the show, we're talking about Van Cliburn. We're talking about Les Paul. We're talking about Paul McCartney. Yes. And we're going to bring it all together. And don't forget him. Michelangelo, too. And Michelangelo, yeah. too. So and you're going to see this guy on stage. He's fantastic. So. Passionate about this. We love you, Mark. It's a go ahead. This has been fantastic. Thank so you we're so going to be uh, there. Are going to be two evening performances of Da Vinci and Michelangelo on Friday and Saturday, and two matinee performances, one on Saturday, the other on Sunday. You don't want to miss this one-of-a-kind immersive multimedia event at the Glitter Dome in the Rhino Arts District. Uh, that's at 3600 Wincoop Street. So visit kwgn.com right now. Click on deals and to get a $40 gift certificate to see the Da Vinci and Michelangelo Museum Theater experience. You're just going to pay just 20 bucks. Seating is limited, uh, limited. So once you purchase the ticket, you're going to need to call the box office to make those reservations. Thanks, Mark. Hey, thank you so much. We'll see you at the Glitter Dome.